we didn't leave anything on the table. We, we accomplished everything we set out to do. We, we perform. Uh, it's a lot like what we've come to expect as our, our standard. Good morning to everyone on the flight deck. Aircrew now manning for event one, case one launch, case one recovery. Temperature 76 degrees, altimeter 2966. Density altitude 1787. Personnel not involved with flight house must now leave the flight deck and catwalks. Then well clear of all rotors, prop arcs, dead intakes and exhaust. Start to go aircraft, start them up. The spectrum of tests that we've done out here is, is pretty wide ranging. You know, the, the sexy stuff that we get, the aircraft flying around, we did a lot of catapults, uh, did a lot of recovery, approach work, mission flying, looking at uh, J-PALs, ICLS work at the back of the boat, did some stuff at night. Uh, but that, that encompasses only a little bit of what we've done out here. There's a lot of additional work that uh, logistics test and evaluation has done that you can really only do out here at the ship. We've done a lot uh, on the hangar deck with the engine, done a lot with the aircraft, done a lot with the flying program and it, it's really been multifaceted. The big thing was the minimum end airspeed test. We did that at both mill and max power at 60,000 pounds and 55,000 pounds gross weight. So we went out and we found the no kidding minimum airspeed that you can launch uh, the jet off at those weights in mill and max power. We did a lot of cleanup, stuff that we didn't, weren't able to finish. So. We open up the crosswind envelope, so now you have a bigger range of winds of which you can launch the airplane. This time we got out to 15 knots both on the bow and on the waist catapults uh, and had good, uh, good results for the aircraft launching and flying away in all the crosswinds that we looked at. I did have the opportunity to do the uh, Gen 2 night test last time around and uh, this time I flew the Gen 3 helmet. So a lot of our props that we saw in the uh, Gen 2 helmet we didn't really see as much in the uh, Gen 3. J-PAL's is a Joint Precision Aircraft Landing System, and it's basically just a tool, an instrument tool that we're going to use to do precision landings at the ship. The next version of the software will have a, a, the full precision landing capability. That's what we'll test at DT3. However, the Catbird does have that software in it already. So we actually have the Catbird out here flying approaches to the ship. So you have a 737 aircraft flying approaches coming down um, on final to the carrier uh, and then waving it off obviously prior to touchdown. It's neat to watch the aircraft do what they do. You know, it's watching the end speed and the aircraft sink off the bow was always going to be a memorable thing. But what is more memorable than that is watching the team make it happen, watching the team work together. And, and that to me is the special nature of all of this work is the teaming, the people, uh, and watching them overcome and adapt. <laughs> 